Hello, my name is Svetlana Koval. I am orthodontist practicing in Odessa, Ukraine. I have my own orthodontic practice and it is limited to the patients with temporomandibular disorders and different symptoms exhibited within the orofacial region. I have been taught that a medical specialist deals with a single problem and seeks for possible causes of it. It results in a possible improbable ways of curing the condition. As a dental specialist, I know that patient symptoms and clinical data create a diversity of diagnosis possibilities. And the most common way of making a proper diagnosis is to put all the gathered data into a single box. But this is a common way of making a diagnosis and it doesn't fit my present way of thinking. My orthodontic practice started nine years ago and since that the perception of the profession has changed significantly. Without a doubt, the first steps are always difficult to make. And in the first years of my practice, I filled in the boxes using patient symptoms and relevant data. It was easier to me to use the specific range of numbers which I, I got from orthodontic model measurements, from x-ray measurements, and from photographs. It took me about two to three years to master the patient examination sequence and the essential steps in data gathering which lead to an appropriate treatment choice. It also took me some time to realize that what a patient expects from the treatment is primarily based on my professional knowledge, but also it depends on the patient's perceptions of the beauty. How the patient percepts the beauty itself and how he or she wants to look like. The further I went, the more I realized that this way is not my preferred way of treatment. I felt that there is something hidden inside the box, that there is something that cannot be seen, it cannot be detected with one's inner sense. And that something was my own truth. Let me talk about that in more detail. Knowledge of the whole organism acting as a single unit is a milestone of my professional development. Each part of the body specifically, precisely matches all other parts and the adaptability of the whole organism is extremely high. All the body parts are adapting to the changing inner and outer environment. Thus, the head posture adapts to the pelvis inclination and consequently the distribution of the body weight affects strongly the whole body posture. My orthodontic practice has recently undergone major updates. I directed myself towards the functional patient examination, seeking for those conditions that make the total system unable to adapt. The examination protocol that I'm using nowadays is the leveled examination. I call it leveled because it uses specific levels within the examination process. The levels are those structures within the orofacial region that exhibit the same amount of adaptability. The first and the most adaptable level is the level of the teeth. The second level is the level of the chewing muscles. It is less adaptable than the first one, but still it consists of the vessels and nerves within these chewing muscles. The further level, the third one, is the level of the soft tissues within the temporomandibular joint. It is less adaptable than the chewing muscle level, but also it is the, the changes occurring within this level are a bit reversible. The fourth level is the level of the bones within the temporomandibular joint, and this is the least adaptable level. All the levels are tightly linked to the neck region, and the ladder itself is connected to the muscle chains and goes down to the muscle chains of each side of the body, as well as anteriorly and dorsally. The teeth are the receptors and the acceptors from the stimuli from the whole body. The teeth level all the stimuli that come from the pelvic region 
and the feet. Understanding this made me change my treatment concept and make me treat my patient, patients in cooperation with the chiropractors and the osteopathic specialists. More patients have come into my practice nowadays seeking for this very concept. This made me develop my own treatment strategies and deeply consider the nature of the morphological changes occurring in the head region. 